Now, all this week, BBC Radio Lancashire has been raising awareness about cancer. There have been some amazing stories, too, if you've been listening to the station, from really inspiring people from right across the county who've been diagnosed with the disease. Well, one of those was Ben Ashworth, who has bowel cancer. You might have seen him on Northwest tonight, <laughs> on Monday, and a few times before that. Ben has raised thousands of pounds through all the sorts of activities to help increase awareness about the illness. Thank you so much for coming in. You've had a, you've had a busy week. Uh, an early start this morning. How was it uh, presenting with Graham? Oh, it was a wonderful experience. I, I've, um, I really liked going on his show, and it was just a really, really heartening experience to sort of uh, talk to so many people that also have cancer and, and have another sort of positive message to, uh, to share. It was, uh, it was really sort of life of her and, and you, you... Actually, Louise, your wife, went on this morning as well. What was that like? Oh, it's amazing. I, I love... Um, doing interviews with my wife. She's, I think she's, um, she's the much more eloquent half of our little team. Um, I always love to hear what she has to say. And, and her experience of, of cancer is so much different to mine. I think the carer's experience is, is a lot um, different. And, and for me, it's quite easy going through cancer in so many ways. Once I've wrapped my head around treatment and the bad news, I can cope. But for my family, seeing me going through it is, is a lot harder. Yeah. You, you were given a, a terminal diagnosis of five years to live Five, nearly six years ago now. Yeah. Um, as, as we said, you've raised loads of money, but a la Steve Prescott or Jane Tomlinson, running is your thing. Mm. Um, I, I guess that's all about showing that you can live with this illness. Definitely. I mean, I would say I was given a, a six to 12 month uh, life expectancy four years ago. Um, and, you know, thankfully, due to the, the treatment we had put on, you know, I, I was able to sort of get my health back a little bit and and with with that I was able to start running marathons and stuff and that was that was really important to me to show my girls you know that my spirit had endured and that I wouldn't be beaten by cancer and I, I, I don't like to refer to myself as like a cancer sufferer mm. um you know I don't think it's beating me I don't think it's uh it's dulled my spirit like I say but it's it is hard mm. it's very hard living with cancer and the last year has been incredibly tough mm. I've had surgery and complications and my disease has progressed and I've had to change treatments and stuff but thanks to the wonderful support we get at, at Rosemere, the Cancer Treatment Centre at the Royal Preston Hospital, you know I'm still here and my wife and family are the Well you've, you have supportive. defied expectations because you said you had a six percent chance of, of surviving for five years and you've you've gone past that which meant that your little girl, your youngest girl is now five and, and you're here to see her. Yeah, yeah, she's, uh, she's almost five. But, um, yeah, I mean, uh, when I was given my terminal prognosis, she was just five months old. Oh. You know, she couldn't talk, she couldn't tell me how much she loved me or anything like that. So, so now that she's at school and she's fierce and she's <laughs> assertive, just like a sister, she gets to tell me off just like <laughs> they do. So, you know, I'm very, very lucky. And just, just briefly, if you can, what would be... Bowel cancer is something that people in, were shy, were a bit bashful, we don't like to talk about it. What would be your message to anybody who has mm. any concerns? I think, you know, if, if you do have any of the, the bowel cancer symptoms, so if any bleeding from the bottom, um, any irregular bowel habits or loose stools, I know these are really difficult kind of things mm. to talk about, but, you know, if you've got any abdominal pain or you're sort of losing weight or you're tired for any, any uh, unexplained reason, you know, it's always best to get it checked out by mm. your doctor. In many, in most cases, it could be something else, but the key to... Um, to survive in bowel cancer is early diagnosis. In 90% of cases, if it's caught early enough, you can be cured. So the most important thing is to go to your doctor with any concerns. Don't as soon be embarrassed. As, yeah. As soon we, as you wish, we wish you we do. all the very best. We Thank will continue much. to follow your journey. It's lovely to see and you. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Thank you.